after 12 years? And I answer them, of course, yes. If, if, if you want to make critics to World Social Forum, we can spend two days making critics. But if I must say I recognize World Social Forum like the space, like the political and social space in which more trans social transformations have been made, I have no doubt about it. And the first thing that I want to say is reaffirm that we are in a very <coughs> special space in which we can really we have the possibility of interchange our reflections about the thing that we are working now that is in terms of uh, concrete terms of war. It's been a who have remembered us the history of the war, the war of wars. We have been uh, fighting against uh, uh, the main uh, uh, private utilities, the main the principal uh, in transnational enterprises who spend a lot of time uh, talking about water like a basic need against us all the time have sustained that we are talking about a human right because a basic need can be transformed in a commodity but a human right can be transformed in a commodity. We have one uh, piece of the war because the United Nations has declared in 2010 war as a human right but exactly like the extraordinary important refer Italian referendum in which 23 million people has voted against privatization and even that privatization is not stopped in Italy. My English is The Italian compañeras who were interviewing us they informed us, but Renato has told it also, uh, the referendum was an extraordinary important victory, but the referendum has not stopped privatization yet. It's not only with voting uh, in the way that we can stop it. What I want to say is, there is a part of our fight that I think is extraordinarily important. When I received the mails from Mira, from Gabriela, from Marianne Manahan, who is not here, who is not here, but he is with Emil, all the people, all the family of water. We can make a map, on a, a map of the world where the fighting, where the wars against privatization is is going on, and this is an extraordinarily important view of the world in which we can see where are the forces, where are the triumphs, where are the defeats. And, who, and why this is, we can also see the, the, the places like, for instance, Bolivia, Venezuela, in which cannot be, uh, cannot be made any privatization because in the constitutions, water is a human right, water is eternally public, no, cannot be privatized. But even in that, in, in that country, we, we <coughs> can see like the idea of profit is going on uh, uh, despite. Despite, despite of uh, all the laws and the constitutions can say. What I want to say, the water problem is not a problem of laws, it's not a problem of constitutions, it's not a problem of which is written on the paper, but it's the result of our fights, the result of our concrete fights, and the result of our proposals. What I want to finish in saying that is I should like to uh, take advantage of this of this World Social Forum in Tunisia to uh, share with you an idea. We think on water in a unique way. We think of water, Sue Minister of potable water and sanitation, 
like a whole complex who is not contested, who is not, which is, excuse me, which is not contested, which is not criticized. And we only ask, is this public or is this private? And we need to have a new view, an other view, not a new view, another view of the whole system. And we need to ask ourselves, is the idea of our relationship like humankind with water can continue in the way that we are seeing it now? And the things that we are saying is, it's not possible. The world movement against privatization of water, the world movement against, uh, for the right, uh, for the water as a human right, needs to have a different vision of the water. And that's why I'm trying to say, this morning we were talking about fracking. Do you imagine which is the amount of technologies that are put in the idea of inject in high pressure water into the earth to break the earth, to make out the gas. If we put a quarter of this technology in the idea of producing gas going on a uh, from, from our quotidian metal flicker, we, I'm sure, we have a lot of gas to make buildings autonomous energetically talking. If we have, if we only start to think in another way to see our own daily production of water, we could be uh, uh, drying, watering, watering. Many cultures, in many different ways, we, we could be using our bodies in a many different ways and we, we, we could be restarting up the, the view of ourselves like uh, beings integrated with nature, not divided from nature like in this now, in this right moment we are. And I think, and I finish in that way, that this is the main idea of to be in the World Social Forum. We can discuss this in, an, in many other spaces. Because people could say this man is what has his most. But in this space, we can say <coughs> everything. And we can think, and we can start to think many, even the things that could appear like impossible many, uh, a few times before.